Hi, I'm the Rap Critic, and remember that generic rapper that you don't remember from All The Way Up? Well, he's apparently in the business of ironic song titles now, but th let's see if he managed to do something that portrays having any sort of personality this time. I'm sorry, I'm... Am I coming off as too dismissive too early? I is it mean to say that French Montana has no real personality outside of a slightly confusing rap name? I'm like Tony Montana the drug dealer, but like, French. I don't know, do you guys think he would even be offended if I said he was a generic rapper? Uh, on the contrary, I think that's actively what he wants, judging from all the music I've heard from him. Dude doesn't want to stand out in any way. He wants to fade right into the musical background, to say absolutely nothing new or interesting, and collect all the cash that comes from making absolutely no ways and challenging no norms. Hell, I, I don't think he'd be offended if I said he sounded generic. It seems like he'd be proud of it. I mean, it's kept him in the game this long, so maybe genericness is his character trait. I'm just saying, no one who makes a mixtape called Mac with the cheese is trying to say anything interesting. I mean, wow, saying you're the Mac with the cheese? <laughs> well, that's some wordplay 80,000 other rappers totally haven't used before. And to make things worse, he had future mixtapes called Mac and Cheese 2 and 3. Because, you know, Mac with the cheese, I guess, was too complicated of a phrase for the music he was making. Y yeah, just take out any semblance of it being about wordplay and just call yourself the musical representation of the cheapest, tasteless, most generic food item at a grocery store. Hey, wait a minute. I just realized something. Go back to the cover art for this single again. It's what looks like a newly married couple eating wedding cake. Well, why'd they go with that? Okay, so apparently French Montana explained on his Instagram. The picture of my mother and father, uh, oh, uh, at their wedding in Africa is my favorite picture. It's unforgettable for so many reasons. We were granted U.S. visas, and in 1996, I went on my first plane to America. I didn't know English, and it was tough, and my father had a hard time and wanted to move back. But my mother knew we couldn't because there weren't any opportunities there and she sacrificed a lot for us to survive in the States. I promised my mother that I would hustle and make my accomplishments unforgettable once I found my opportunity. I want other people who might be struggling to know that the sky is not the limit. You can do unforgettable things. You know what? I'm... You know, I'm sorry. I, I feel like a jerk. Here I am bad-mouthing this guy, and yet he introduces this song by making it about his accomplishments as an immigrant to the U.S., about continuing his family's legacy, about finding love and family that keeps you going strong. Dude, I'm sorry. That was wrong of me to poison the well for my listeners before they even get a chance to hear it. Maybe I just hadn't heard your music in a while and was just judging it based on a hazy memory of it. Please, give the people a taste of what you were going on about in your post. Let the people know about the unique and individual talent that is French Montana. Right after this chorus by someone else. Wait, is that the dude from Ray Shrimmer? The dude that did the Black Beatles song that I reviewed? Huh. Well, you know, I actually do have to say I like the chorus. I like how the Afrobeat feel fuses with the echoing vocals over the track. It really melds perfectly together from a purely aesthetic basis. It's a jam. I'd definitely get down to it if it came on in a club. But getting back to the meaning of the song, hey, maybe something resonated with French that made him want to use Sway's lyrics to relate his story of immigration and family bonds through tough times. R right? It's just a breakup song, I guess. I mean, you're saying things like, it's not gonna work for you and this isn't good enough for me, so maybe he's saying like, man, this isn't gonna work out because I feel like you're not putting in the time to make this relationship work. Or maybe you, we just argue too much. Or maybe we have too many differences. Or, or he's just an egotistical douchebag. You know, either one. Okay, so he gets drunk at the club, and miracle of miracles, he finds a new girl to hook up with. And, of course, it specifically has to be about sex with someone else's girlfriend. You know what, let's skip Swaley's part, it's obviously not related to French's verse. Didn't we skip ahead? Is this chorus still going? We're like a minute and a half into this video. How has French Montana not said anything yet? Dude, this is like your biggest single, and yet we're a third through the song, and you've been completely upstaged by Sway Lee. In fact, I've heard this song a few times on the radio, and I can swear every time I've heard it, it must have been one of those stations that cuts out the rap verses from songs, because I do not remember French Montana rapping on this at all. And apparently, there's a demo version of the song that's just Sway Lee, but I think there might be a mix-up, because that just sounds like this version. I don't know, maybe French Montana's so boring, everyone involved in the recording process just forgot to put him on the final version. 
version, including himself. Just look at him smiling and dancing in the video. Meanwhile, in the back of his head, he's like, I feel like something's missing from this whole ordeal. I brought my stacks of cash, right? Yeah. And the rented cars, that's paid for. Yeah. Did I turn off the oven? Oh, fuck! I forgot to record a rap verse! Uh, guys, we gotta go back to the studio! Or maybe his verse is just so bland and forgettable, my ears just, like, filter it out as it happens. He's like the rap version of that optical illusion where you're supposed to count how many passes the players in white are making, but you're so focused on trying to count the passes you don't notice the guy in the gorilla suit. So basically, the beat is like the guys dressed in white, and French Montana is the musical equivalent of a guy in a gorilla suit. Well, well that actually makes him sound way more interesting than he actually is. Feeling like I'm fresh out boost. Oh wait, there he is! Okay, sorry, well, let's get into his verse. So, contrary to Sway Lee, he's probably gonna actually talk about his struggles and hardship. I got a hard head, but her ass off. Uh... If they want the drama, got the ooze. Doing shit, you don't even see him move. move. Ride with me, boss. boss. I pulled out a million cash, told her playing on it. I'm sorry. Wasn't this song supposed to be about family and making a life for yourself in a new country or something? What was all that bullshit he was talking about in his Instagram post? What the hell does that have to do with what he's actually saying in the song? She left her man at home. She don't love him no more. What you mind your body? And of course, his verse is about banging someone else's girlfriend too. Wait a minute. Wasn't the cover art for this song literally a picture of your mom and dad on their fucking wedding day? And yet this song is all about shitting on committed relationships. I... I just... I... Why? Why would you do this? You could have just had it be yet another song about banging chicks and being rich, but no, you specifically wanted the audience to think that this song was going to hold some significance beyond that. But it doesn't. It's just yet another song about the same old shit. Granted, it's a very polished song about the same old shit, but it's the same old shit nonetheless. Why are you trying to fix it up like something important is happening? Like, even take a look at the video. It's not just a rented mansion, hot chicks in a pool party, and cars in the front yard. No, they're actually in a Ugandan village hanging out with a bunch of talented young dancers from the area, showing a gritty reality of their surroundings, but also showing them still able to find happiness and dedication to an art regardless. This looks like the video of someone trying to spread a message of love and positivity, not yet another message of how they're banging your girlfriend. I pulled out a, million cats, all a, plank on it. a planking reference? Wasn't that, like, popular in, like, 2011? Jeez, and you guys say I'm late with my reviews. Speaking of underwhelming internet gimmicks, apparently there's also an unforgettable challenge, because, of course, there has to be some sort of manufactured, quote-unquote, viral dance that has to go with it. It's not even a challenge, though, because, you know, challenges are usually things that take some sort of concerted effort, like something unconventional or difficult, like pouring ice water on yourself or landing a trick shot. It's not just the simple stuff that people improv off of. That's not a challenge, that's just doing a dance. It's not like in the past people would see someone doing like line dancing and go, ooh, it's the line dance challenge, or ooh, it's the Macarena challenge. Unless you're spinning on your head or something like that, a simple dance step is not a challenge. But again, I guess they just needed some sort of gimmick to get people to pay attention, but unfortunately for me, it doesn't work. It don't, uh, I think it don't, uh, Wait, what? Wait, holy shit, what's going on? Is he being kidnapped? Is everything, like, not going perfect in French Montana's world right now? Where are they taking him? Why would they end such an innocuous music video like this? Is he sending some sort of message about the tyranny going on in Uganda? Where is he going with this sudden twist? Chop and chop blame here, copper two. Wh what? No, what? I gotta know more! You can't just end there! I gotta know what happens next! Well, where is it gonna be a part two? Is it gonna continue in the next music video? Well, let's check out his next music video, A Lie, and, and see what happens. Okay, so we're back in America, and everything's okay now? Well, did you, what happened? The last video showed him being kidnapped in Uganda. Now he's back in the lap of luxury in America again? Well, what went down? How did he get out? How did he escape? Did, did he pay them? Did he have to perform lewd sex acts? Is this a French Montana clone or something? Okay, never mind. We all knew what it was. Just another gimmick to try to make French Montana seem interesting. Overall, I'd give this a 3 out of 5. Most of the song is great, actually. But unfortunately, most of the song is chorus, never really showing off French's personality. But then again, more of him would have only brought the song down even further, so I guess maybe this is the best French Montana song ever made, just because he had the good sense to not be in it too much. Well, I'm the rap critic. You don't have to like my opinion, but I don't have to like your song. <laughs>